Welcome to our video about the Data Collector Smartwatch and the corresponding companion app for the Data Collector Smartwatch. The Data Collector Smartwatch is actually a raw data recording plus a real-time view on a watch. The compatible watches are Wear OS watches, here you see a couple of them, Samsung Galaxy watches or the Tick watch for example. And the watches work together with the MoveSense sensor. The MoveSense sensor is with a normal breast belt, for example. The raw data we are recording is IMU9, so ACC, gyro and magnetometer, ECG parameters, GPS from the watch, lactate threshold as a new um, parameter, motion intensity and the calorie calculated based on the lactate threshold. And a new parameter we have now is that we do EDF export, which is really handy for um, Kubios import, for example, if you want to look at the ECG data for Kubios, we will add other parameters later on. So here's some real-time views from the smartwatch. For example, we have HRV in milliseconds, and it actually is based on the movement, so we record it only when the movement is not there. Then we have RRI in milliseconds, uh, RRI versus DRR graphs. We have HR, of course, maximum, average, minimum, maximum. And this is the lactate threshold screen where we see minimum and maximum heart rates and the average, the last one, and of course the movement intensity as well. This is a lactate graph over time. Um, this is the moving average lactate graph. And here we have DRR in microseconds at the tachometer. And at the end, we get anaerobic calories and aerobic calories um, with uh, the lactate data. So the companion app is then um, an add-on to the data collector and we show you how it will work. So we take the MoveSense sensor, it's a standard breast belt um, that you can buy for the MoveSense sensor, where we actually then use it for the um, ECG recording, heart rate recording um, for all these parameters at the end. So you plug the sensor in there and you put it then on onto your chest and um, the recording will then start. Obviously you will need the um, smartwatch for that and we will now show you the smartwatch how it connects to the, to the sensor when it's done. So you scan for it, you take the sensor and once that is done you hit the start button on the watch and um, you will then see on the top right corner the, if there is a GPS connection, this was the correct indoor so we don't have GPS and on the left side you will see the little antenna. That one generates a QR code and with the QR code we are pairing the companion app with, uh, with it so you take a smartwatch there and the smartwatch together with the companion app on a corresponding device scans the QR code and once it's connected you actually see that over there and the data is then flowing into the application as you see it here. So here we have a couple of um, data views on the companion app and uh, you see we have uh, lactate peaks on top and uh, motion intensity as well as heart rate. Um, it is not raw data recording, raw data recording is happening on the uh, smartwatch at the same time but this one is uh, actually for a trainer or for um, an athlete or a colleague that can then see if the data is going in and can give instructions based on the data that you are actually giving in real time. So here you see the, the watch actually running at the same time with the... It's really handy if you actually use the, um, the LTE version of the watch because then you can stream it directly wherever you are to the... Thing. Well, thank you very much for your interest in the Data Collector Smartwatch and the Companion app. Thank you.